Oh my god, I love how they go... animated the... Excuse me? Oh, let's go. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if the hot sauce is making me feel a little funky, but like, that was definitely the coolest thing I've seen animated this season so far for me. Whoa! Oh! And it's not over! Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to Hester Brothers Cartoon Theater, everybody. I'm Alec. This is my brother, Lucas. We are the Hester Brothers, and we are here for more reactions of the Cuphead show. It is season three, episode six through 11. That's the finale already, people. This whole thing has felt very special. We've been doing it in a really different way, and it's been a lot of fun. If you like this, like it. Actually, even if you don't like it, feel free to click yeah, the like button. Yeah, honestly. We don't, we we don't take, care. Yeah, we don't care. Honestly. <laughs> we are very appreciative to all of you. We'd be more appreciative if you were subscribed to the channel! Wow. Wow. Nice. Everybody, the hot sauce is back. Yep. And he's not just talking about me. Oh, God. We worried about plating a little more. We, we were trying to get a little bit more creative. Honestly, I don't even want these waters here because this looks great. Do you want to cheers a wing and then start the thing? That sounds good, man. All right, we're starting with number one, Cozy Cottage. I'm throwing away the post-it note. That's how we're keeping track. Wait. I put them backwards. I, I did the animation correct, though. Thanks, editor. Hey, you bet, boo. No problem. All right, bud. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'm remembering flavor. Good. Anyway. Shall we? Let's do it, my man. Netflix logo, you're back. Dude, I really love that uh, cozy cottage, cottage flavor, flavor that we got. But now I gotta say, it already seems spicier to me. And I'm wondering if it's because we changed the way that we decided to do it. I'm not gonna lie, I actually had that exact same thought. Like, I felt it more on my tongue. Wonderful. Yeah. We are gonna kick off this very first episode with the double down. Dink. What is this one again? Uh, double down. Oh, okay. Did you turn it? Turn it. Do the turn. Oh, yeah. I gotta do turn the, the wheel. Little, yeah, cute little turn. Oh, my God. This is harder than I thought. Bam. Next Bam. one's get done. All right. We're at the we're at the game hut. I just bought a weapon at the end of our stream the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Follow our Switch channel if you haven't yet. We're yep. gonna have a lot going on there. Oh, my gosh. It's that... You know, you can enter the store with a normal customer, Jerry. <laughs> this package is courtesy of... <laughs> Oh. I don't care who it's courtesy of. Inside this box, it's... There's some old don't cartoons, like Donald's Lucky Day. Well, Donald's Lucky Day, I was seeing the same thing, the Friday the 13th. It's ticking! It's ticking! That's it! We got it! I know the better. But don't you want to know? What has to happen for you to shut This is so funny, trap. the idea that, like, why doesn't the parcel person notice that there's a, a ticking time bomb in this box? I'm not, I don't know if that's what's happening, oh but that's the old thing. I would not be mad if they totally emulated that old short film and just had Cup Cuphead or Mugman like carry this Dude. package around. Oh, you know I've really been liking Porkrine's character evolve in this season. They they've done a lot with him, and I think that's been fun. I like how he's rough, but not like a bad guy. Yes, they're delivering the package. Also a secret assassin. Ooh. Tallulah Piccolo. Tallulah Piccolo. Whoa, that is a name. Ah, uh, yes, an elf rogue. What's your fake name, Alec? No. Avery Graves. Washed up dancer. It's my D and D character. Do you think Porkwright actually didn't realize it was a bomb because he was barely paying attention? It's I possible. Mean, we he don't know it's a bomb. I'm just. We're assuming because it's ticking. Oh, oh, it's not even ticking. Well, we were thrown off. I like this. Yeah, this is interesting. These are for Ribby, remember? Yeah, right. Like he could ever fit into them. Like you would with those. What if it's a gift for somebody? Don't just steal somebody's mail because you like it. Why is Cuphead the one with ethics right now? What is this? The costumes have changed them all. That is. Exploding shoes. Exploding shoes! It is a bomb! Deliveries taken care of. Wait, did you say exploding shoes? Okay, he didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was specifically said he didn't want to know or ask. That's true. It's none of his business. At sundown, 
But she already said it. This is exactly the same plot line as Donald's Lucky Day, though. Donald gets handed a package, and we find out off screen in this, like, shady area. Yeah, and it's Friday the 13th. Yeah. Very fun short film to watch every Friday the 13th. Yeah. We watch it around Halloween, too. <sighs> wow! We just got all that extra detail just for Pork Ryan to say he doesn't care. Well, I mean, that gives us... Again, we get more Pork Ryan. Yeah. I'm not mad. You know, this reminds me so much now of the, the over the garden wall scene with the frogs on the ferry. Oh, you're so right. You know, now that we've seen that. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hysterical horse names. The horse... Horribly disfigured Charred Charred Carcass! <laughs> well, okay, we're getting pork rind. I mean, that's not what would have happened in the original. The shopkeep actually wouldn't have cared. But I'm okay with that character development. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. I, I think it's refreshing, I'd even say. Tallulah! What are you doing? Oh my Tallulah. You know, Mugman just every other episode just completely throws me off. So wait, why is they taking? Hey, we ain't even got no jukebox. Oh, Ooh, I see you got the exploding shoes. I they don't even have Ah! Them. He sent him the shoes! <laughs> Why would you send me exploding shoes? Cause you tried to bury me alive that time, remember? Oh, oh I was <laughs> trying to bump each other off. <laughs> Come out a thing, huh? Come here, you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no. I rubbed my eyes! Delivery now. You feeling it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, never mind. You're not gonna be fine. At least I mean, it didn't happen later. I didn't feel it in my tongue, now I feel it in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Hi, poor Oh, so dejected. Give me that! Take this and get out of here! <gasps> yes, After you just put yes, them in danger! Poor I said well, it's because he, you know, some people channel their, you know, feelings of guilt in different ways. Sorry, Pork Ryan, but I appreciate you gave the baseball back. Wow. And he has a blow up on him. No! Oh, that's so your fault! <laughs> Wait, three Wait. seconds earlier. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what what is going on here? What a weird tie-in. What I hate those cups. That was more than three seconds. Oh, Are we about to get like a pork rind devil art together? That would be awesome. Well, well, well. Hello again. Again? Again. Friends with again. This, too, are we? this will come in very useful indeed. Oh, wow. Ah! This will come in very useful. And did you know that we wanted this to be a plot line, the audience? That was me, the devil, telling you okay. this is a plot line now. Are you excited? Dink and Sinkin go on to another? Yeah, let's do it, man. And we are on... You're ahead. I guess we're ahead. I am not ahead. Dink. What was the flavor of this one again? Oh, that's a good hot sauce. I think that one might be my favorite. Yeah, that is blue raspberry habanero sauce. Just awesome. Lucas, do you feel like at we finished with the Christmas special and now like the last five episodes are basically like the final act? We did this in, on purpose to sort of like finish with the special stuff, the formulaic, and now it's like, okay, boom, boom, boom. You know, it almost feels like the show did divide itself up in a way. I think this makes sense. What does everyone else think? How would you have done this if you had a YouTube channel? And if you do have a YouTube channel, don't advertise it on someone else's channel. That's weird. <laughs> As told by me, dice for a head. Bring oh, me back, all. Wayne Brady, King Dice. Influence and faith. I was in my prime. Oh, I love the black and white shots and the old school playing cards. Like that's so cool. I like the yeah, like. Is this just a flashback from? No, this is different. This is different. Oh. 
I love his voice. I really do. And I love King Dice. And I love how classic and old school this feels. Wait, is this him after the... After the fact, he's past his glory days. The stash. It's disheveled. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a fish? I don't know. I give up. Swim trunks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, 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 that. I, I thought it was funny because it was stupid. Ooh! Alright. <laughs> it's been a long time since someone's called me that. Flattery works immediately. Have my show anymore no you know what though dude i'd love for them to partner up that'd be awesome what do you mean you don't have your show anymore oh my gosh is this a thing Not just the show I've lost wow he was about to kill two children i just want to point that out real quick can't do it on my own. people can remind me i don't actually know if they ever knew he was behind anything well, I don't know who they didn't is, but that guy remember real yeah I, I thought so yeah, it was kind of interesting but remember they just said whoever your boss is he sounds like a real jerk <laughs> yourself a deal. All right, I'm interested. I, you know what though? I keep getting teased with these team ups where the villains get revamped, and then they ultimately just turn around and hate Cuphead and Mugman again, and we don't get the friendship that I keep waiting for. Maybe this is different. I don't know. Acme shoes. Very little touch, but that's like very old Looney Tunes where everything would be called Acme Blank. Yeah, Acme or products. even Disney, I think. No, was no, no, I no, think no, no. that was a Looney Tunes thing, right? It was more so in Tex Avery. Yo, King Dice would be a fun cosplay. Oh my god, it'd be fun okay. to go as Dice and the Devil. Best advice for any artist is just do it. Like, stop trying to plan and just do it. Make it, it's gonna be bad. You're gonna yeah. start and it's gonna suck. And that's fine. Just suck for a while. That's how you're gonna get better. And people won't remember when you suck. They're just gonna remember when they liked you. They're trying so hard to help him. Like, he's still kind of like a, a hero figure to them, you know? Yeah. Oof. Stop showing me my bull boy like he wasn't the scariest character we've seen in the show. Yeah, and then he just integrates back in like they should not be alarmed by him. Yeah, anymore. like that dude should be like locked up. Another advice to artists that this is showing is uh, always be independent. Run yourself. Do your own marketing. No way. Except the devil. I'd let him boss me any day. No one can boss me around except for the devil himself. That would be okay. That's cool. All right. That's chill. When did everything get so boring? I mean, we got Stickler up here talking about audits for crying out loud. I do feel like the devil has had like a strong arc. I really do. I'm, I'm curious to see how they wrap it up. Oh my god, he's gonna miss Dice! Yep, exactly. King Dice has It's the, true. Ever since Dice around. has been out of the picture, he has been a lot more sad. Remember how much, like, more rockin' he was when he was with Dice? Yeah, see, it is going to just turn out that King Dice is like, yeah, I'm going back to the devil. Screw Cuphead and Mugman. You're probably right, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the old little farm with the lights. I, okay, underrated part of the show, lighting. They get that right so much to emulate the classic style. I feel like Devil is complex, and he appreciates some level of friendship. Hello, Dice. Oh, you're right. It's not about friendship at all. I misread. Last time I saw you, I would destroy you. It's funny you bring that up. Who said it? Right over there. So oh. I up in his face, and I says. Backstabbing, what do you think? You think he's gonna commit? Think yeah. he's gonna do it? I do. I, I don't. I think he's not. I think he's gonna like him. Oh, JK. Nah, he's screwed. So this was always the plan. That's They hid that from the audience, too. That's pretty clever. So you've been working on capturing that cup this whole time. Well, that's the a whole lie. Time? No. 
Elizabeth? Come yeah. on, man. You're talking to your number one, remember? Okay, honestly, I love the King. King Dice is being shown to be actually cunning right now. Yeah. He's so suave. That is a super, like, you see how, like, calm he handled the devil pointing this spear at him? That's awesome. Damn. I whipped up this little contract between us. You He's not gonna sign it. There's no way, right? Not right now. When you sign it. I feel like this is the show. Wait. I'm touched. What a beautiful gesture. But sorry, kid. It's over. Whoa! Listen, I hate to break it to you, but music's out. Somebody's <laughs> in. You know, dummy. Oh I'm my god. Well, that makes one of us. Hey, Music's out. Comedy's in. Why state the obvious? Which is false. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I don't oh, he's really hurt. Was falling into place. Oh, no. He is not playing. Hey, oh, my so gosh. Cuphead is so mean. That's in so mean. I want Cuphead to go to hell. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. And say stay that. there. <laughs> I mean, sometimes the villains are nicer in a way. Yeah, like, they're more like calculated, and Look, devious. You're fair. But I don't know. Kevin and Mugman are just like bad people sometimes. Lacking from the organization for too long. I need your glitz. You've come to the right place. You know what? A thought I just had was what, and I'm interested if anyone in the comments agrees with me on this. It feels like they're almost like getting the story set up for what it's going to be best at now say because i don't know what the plans are for the season if cuphead's gonna go on indefinitely netflix kind of has a history of cutting their shows pretty short yeah and if it is cut short is it gonna feel like we got a bunch of setup and then it got stopped? i don't think so i feel like we are gonna get an ending that's yeah. my projection. I but is it going to be a rushed ending? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like, we're getting these set up. We just got something about Chalice. We're getting something about King Dice. I do think that we are setting up the order here to reach the ending. I mean, they set up a little arc that will be completed, but there, I think there's going to be a ton of open relationships that still have exploring that haven't been done. Well, I say let's find out. If you want to let the theme song roll, what? we are going to number four, Nothing But Trouble. Now's the, uh, the Chalice hot sauce. Dink. Dink for my favorite character. Disclosure, the last three are all technically the same heat level according to what they tell us. So we ordered it Cuphead, Mugman, Chalice. That seems to be the order that they're marketed in. So I'm going to do a little shot of this one. I wish I had a little bit more of a chicken too, but... Mm. Ow. Yeah, I wow, that's it. way hotter than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. Yeah, just based on that little one. I'm glad I did that though. I need a kick. Oh my god. I like how that tastes, though. Me too. I like how they all taste. Oh, we oh. got dynamite. I just like fireworks. Shoot, I missed what this one was called. Joyride. Joyride. The cattle? Well, you hate fireworks. Well, outside, yeah. Uh. But we're inside. <laughs> you boys ready for a day of fun? I mean, he did, like, have, like, a whole war scene with that rat in the house one time. Is he fireworks themed? Nope. That is so cartoony. He's oh. like, oh, I hate fireworks outside, but uh, we're gonna figure out that plot and say it's fine because now we're not outside. Anymore. Is he feeling all right? Was he replaced? That's what I'm thinking, too. Something's going on. Oh. You're right, something's- Dang it, I, I can't believe I didn't catch that. You literally winked at the camera now. Well, well, not bad. Old man. Okay, fellas. Oh, yeah. it's not him, you're right. Okay, okay, so who is it? Now we've got our theories going. Who, who is it? How could it be anyone other than the devil? Who has the power to be able to do that, bull boy? Chalice. Oh, Chalice, it could totally be. Oh, you know what? I feel like Chalice is a good one. Because I can picture her saying these lines. They are going to the city, too. Which would be a very Chalice location, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, every time we've actually... Well, maybe not every time, but a lot. That's something Chalice would have said, too. Yeah, I think you're on the right track. We'll see.
Oh yeah. This is the the scene that like Chalice was even introduced in. That was the place you would yeah. Okay. Incredible. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. I did! Quickly. Did Elder Kettle... It's me, no, never mind. Kettle. It wouldn't make sense. I possessed your Elder Kettle. <laughs> Day of fun! Day of fun! <gasps> it is Chalice! Uh, no. See, now I'm... Okay, no, that, that, why didn't you just do that? <gasps> oh, but it's still his body? <laughs> that's... Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't really think about that. I don't understand what her you can motive is. Anyone? She's just chilling. Again, I'd ask first. I don't. I. I wouldn't just like go around possessing random people. I think that's probably pretty uncool. Oh. Oh no, he is traumatized. This is bad. Waking up in the city with no memory. Okay, give me this joke. Give me this. Give me this joke. Give me this joke. Come on. Kettle, you old rascal. You still got it. No! <laughs> Do you want to, like, get some more food after this together? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. We're so much hungrier this time I than know, we were the last time. So I'm, like, just I'm, itching. like, can I just eat more of these? Especially trying to now pace that I'm seeing this good food. <laughs> trying to pace ourselves. And, yo, you guys, like, I don't know if you like hot things. But, like, the first half of these aren't so bad, and they're genuinely delicious. This is an unpaid-for opinion. I yeah. genuinely really like these sauces. Uh, yeah. Lots of nice little character moments here, though. Um, I like that we're getting more flavor of the town. Well, I, anytime they reintroduce us to the characters of the world, I love that. Yeah, that was one of the things I was gonna say. It's kind of cool that we see these, like, different character mo moments being woven through and get little bits with, like, pork rinds a little bit more in these characters, and... Oh, that was so mean. That guy was literally so nice, and then she, like, pulled his niceness away. Oh, wow. Well, that guy just gave this toy that he won to some kids. That's such a nice thing. Why would you get mad at that? Is the, is the you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You gave it to children. Yeah, but like, they how win. You... Okay, like, you could be maybe silently mad, but not, like, publicly. Oh no. Wait. She got a thing at the at the That's it? That episode felt so short. But the good news is we can eat more chicken. And keep rolling. Alright. One of those other ones. Where's this one again? Hugging it out. Oh, Seven out of ten. First time we're uh, ramping up a little. That's definitely the hottest one in my opinion, other than than the um final one. Ooh! That gonna be through so much stronger this time. Plays mellow oh, code. And it's good. Dude, I love a good kick. Mm. Can I talk again about how much I love the music? Just well I have to say. That's easily one of the best things about the show, Devin. Guess you always got the worst chores of Okay, the random little thing. Orphans were a very common theme in old Disney cartoons. Nikki would have a lot of like episodes centered around all these little orphans that looked like tiny Nikki's. Really? And they were all over the uh, bunch of the short films, yeah. So Chalice is alive here is noticeable. Not a ghost. I mean, I guess she would have to be because she's younger. And I would assume once she turned into a ghost, she stayed stops, out of her present stops form. Stops aging. I, I don't know, I guess we can't assume that. Yeah, you never know. Oh! Here's music! It's so cute! Little Orphan Annie! <laughs> There's a Star Wars, Star Wars Robot Chicken reference. I'm sure nobody got it. Oh, <laughs> I thought I, I've seen it with you and I didn't get it, but that yeah. Was Chalice, what's all and an Annie reference. Do? I'm sure a lot of you got that part. No That's a little over the. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, no it's... fun is literally the rule. <laughs> like wow. Garden That's... Wall did that a little bit, and that was a great episode. Yeah, but it was more heavily satired. I think. They're not making fun of it, because that's what a satire is. No, yeah, right. that's a good point. You're right, you're right. The, the thing that I do like 
This is already a show that is meant to feel like a 1930s Fletcher cartoon, right? Yeah. And what they are doing with this sequence is even predating the style that they have already created. Do you see it, like, in the way that um, some of the screens are going by and how the colors are just, like, a little bit more subdued? Oh, well, yeah, well, part of this is because they're focusing on Chalice as a child right now, so this is supposed to be older style. Yeah. This particular scene. Right, right, and it's working, like, yeah. so strongly. That whole scene, it felt like it should have all been silent, black and white, and, like, every time they talked it felt like it should have been that thing where you don't see them and then there's the cutscene to the caption like old old 1990 or 1919 yeah <laughs> even earlier <laughs> yeah 20s. exactly 1910s. Um, wait is this how could you imagine if this is oh okay <laughs> That would have been kind of wild. Man, I wonder if that was a reference to the movie Birdman. That's a great movie if y'all haven't seen it. I won't say anything about it and do not spoil it in the comments or any, but... Until they weren't. Oh. Acres flew too close Wait. to the sun? The wings burn? She's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Oh, phew. How, <coughs> how does someone die here? We've only seen souls stolen. It's a good question. It seems to take a lot. Like, how did she become a ghost? What a charming little dance. And just oh. like that, everything changed. I really liked that bird's design, too. That's I... when I realized all I had to do was turn up the charm. I'll do whatever it takes to get what I need. I really want to It's a charming character depiction, depiction, but I kind of hate reductionist depictions of homelessness, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. And, you know, because, like, this doesn't happen. If you're this screwed, this is not what your life looks like. Yeah, entirely true. Um, and it's annoying to see sometimes, because I've known so many people that have really been out on their luck, and, like, it's not, like, glamorized at all, you know what I mean? Definitely. I do think that, stylistically, it's probably, like, this is exactly the way that they would depict things yeah, like this and like true. with the money and falling I mean, into them too even like, like annie you know oh yeah. little orphan girl i mean they're clearly capitalist they're, norms of fighting against oppression well they are you so, don't need to address it if one person succeeds <laughs> <laughs> oh so that's how she died they would show it on screen wow that was very uh Hilarious. I feel so strange. Just I'm afraid it was just your time. Nice. What? My Whoa. Time? But that's okay, I think I said earlier today that I we never seen how somebody dies, now we know. File. Okay. And this is also the first time we're getting to see the devil welcome somebody to hell potentially, which is interesting. Because he's been shown to be a little bit goofy and powerless, all things considered. Can I just say, like, you're trolling so hard if you're already talking to the devil and he's saying, let's look at your file, be like, yeah, I don't need a rundown, I'm here already, can we just get this started? It's gonna be your strategy. Oh! Oh, tap dancing was her favorite thing, and go I could offer you a second chance. You'd owe me a favor to be named at a later date. <gasps> oh no. Deal? Oh, nice. Thank Just a favor to be named at a later date. You still get to live your life and be a ghost. So basically, you get a blank check favor. She she signed up for immortality. You owe me a favor. Do you think that there's tons of people roaming this fictional universe that the devil's made deals with? Wallet. Steal the devil's wallet. That's hardcore. Yes, I've got you. Yay! Let oh, me man. see the devil actually okay. be threatening. You go. Thank God. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm stealing the devil's wallet. That's a really clever writing writing idea. Props to the writer who thought of that. Oh my gosh, that looks like straight out of Ducktales. That character. What's everybody looking at? The new one. Oh yeah. Huh. Wow, and she is about her life. Do you think she's only been a ghost for, like, a week, and the devil did that intentionally to try to get a favor out of her for Cuphead? I mean, it looks like she just... I think we're about to have that answered. Yeah, it happened literally seconds before the introduction to the show. This is really interesting. That was the day! Wow! Okay, we're here. Oh, 
oh, and now she's got to cash in her favor. Wow, that was a shoehorned in plot line if I ever seen one, I'm not gonna lie. You think so? Oh, yeah. There, you, I know. There, no, I disagree. I love this. There, well, let's talk there, about this. There was the no episode. evidence that there that this was planned at all. This 100% could have just been written in this episode. I disagree. I'm, we'll talk. Sure. What do you need? I need you to betray the ding. Oh, man. And this is how we finish season three. The Devil, Chalice, and yeah. Cuphead and Mugman. Yeah. One last... A little battle. I'm so happy. All right. I think that was great. I really do. And I believe it was planned from the very beginning. We found out Chalice was a ghost. It was never explained. Clearly, they must have, from the very beginning of introducing Chalice, known that that was going to happen. When shows that I've seen that have, like, you know, shows like Adventure Time or, like, a lot of anime that have, like, overarching plot lines, there are at least, like, subtlety foreshadowing and hints. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's been literally any single reference to the devil and the chalice possibly knowing each other before that first time we saw it. I get the argument, okay, it came out of left field, but I think of that more like, whoa, chalice has been becoming their friends all this time, I had no idea, and now it's blowing my mind. If we're just being totally honest, why on earth would... Chalice have not mentioned to Cuphead and Mugman that she died the same day of meeting them until now. Well, well, that's actually interesting. There's no re- that is a huge deal. And they're like her only friends too. Well, that's another thing, like, does that mean that Cuphead and Mugman would have never mentioned the devil to her? That's also a super notable part of their lives, right? Uh, I guess so, but nah, dude, I don't when it comes it. to they, stuff they like the devil, second. that's a pretty mystical thing. Like, I don't know. A show like Cuphead is one that I'm perfectly comfortable suspending my disbelief for because it's built off classic yeah. cartoon energy. I don't need everything to make sense. It's not really something I think about that hard. I mean, you saw how I just kind of reacted in real time. I'm like, wow, that was a shoehorn in plotline. To me, that takes me out of the, the suspending my disbelief. Mm -hmm. But you saw how you know I, I mean? reacted where it was like, Wow, I did not see that coming. That's true. And that's I why can't I, get that lost. But I'd love to get commenters' thoughts on how you felt about this. You know, it's it's funny though, because we've had this discussion about this show in particular, where it's fighting, being slapstick, classic comedy, yeah. and having a plot. And this is one of those things where I feel like that tension doesn't work. I, sometimes I do wonder what they want out of that. Yeah. And it's like they want both, but sometimes they don't go all the way with it because yeah. they're worried they're going to lose the other thing if they go too hard. I'll need more payoff at the end of this at the end of this. Let's see how the finale goes. Yeah. Maybe that will if, be a big part of how we feel about the end. Yeah, if the payoff is good, then the payoff is good. That that. But we'll see. We'll see. Everybody, watch the end. All right, and we are gonna if, start if you with. Agree with me or not? <laughs> we're gonna start with one of our hotter sauces here. All right. And then this is the dice. Uh, yeah. Sorry, this is King Dice. Ding ding. Oh. Well. Or is it the I'll take a little shot of this one because I felt like last time this one was also not as spicy as I was expecting and I wonder if it's just because it doesn't soak well on the chicken. Yeah, try, try what I just did. See how I feel. To get a, get a good one. The, the Devil and Miss Chalice. Good title name. Oh, I actually like the flavor more than you. I didn't like the flavor that one. Oh my god, I'm instantly sweating. Oh, and also we're back at the original arcade. Oh yeah. Okay, we're, we're in reaction mode. True. Getting lost in a flow state is one of the things that like top pro top competitors in sports and stuff always do. I mean, in all honesty, I love seeing this. Yeah, is it like the choreography? This is an entire sequence okay. without dialogue. We're can, getting can everything I, I love about the show. Can I say what would make it pay off for me that I'm seeing? Sure. Is if this ends up shoehorning the devil into having a friendlier relationship with Cuphead and Mugman. Getting that payoff that we wanted from season one. Okay. Season. <laughs> He's so charming. You gotta love the devil. Oh, these you two gotta are... love the devil. Dude, these two interacting, I almost wish I'd had more of it. I know why it took this long, but I love it. They're just such- they have great chemistry. Okay. Maybe just yeah, let's go with the music! No, why is there so much backstabbing between all of my- my- the most likable- You did not just scratch a record. You already hate this character so much.
Stickler is the real devil. You're right. You're right! That might even be almost intentional to a degree. Oh, oh my god, I is love he how they go? animated the- Excuse me? Oh, let's go! Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if the hot sauce is making me feel a little funky, but like, that was definitely the coolest thing I've seen animated this season so far for me. Whoa! Oh! And it's not over! Whoa! <laughs> it is not unnecessary, henchman. What? The imagery! Chalice, I knew her well. Oh uh, no, 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 no. This is still an illusion. Okay. Call the train anybody you want. Whoa. Dude, that was like torture. She just died. He just literally had her consciously experience dying. Probably experienced going to hell again, and then brought her back. <laughs> That's easily the most evil thing the devil has done the entire. Oh. That might have been my favorite scene of the whole show. Look how black and white this is. Uh, see, that is the one thing. I'll never hate this show even if it doesn't deliver on plot because it still gives me great moments. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's always yeah. going to be incredible to watch. And we're in a Penny Arcade. It's a vibe show. Penny Arcades are fun, by the way. I've been to one in San Francisco. I should take them to sometime. So what do you think our season, or is our cliffhanger going to be the devil gets everyone? I don't know if we'll get a cliffhanger. I'm going to call my shot. I think we get it tied up. Nah. You want to put a little spicy wager on it? Yes. You want to say that we'll do a little extra, extra hot to bomb chicken wing? I said that I would not do the bomb. Uh, at the end, which is a True. special sure, extra hot sauce that has nothing to do with Cuphead. Uh, they're signing a contract right now. I'll sign the contract. I will tell you that if I'm wrong, I will go ahead and take a bit of the bomb. You would have to put an extra dab on top of what you were already planning on doing. Fine. I really hope I don't lose. I think we're going to get a cliffhanger. This is just based on if we're getting a cliffhanger, right? Those are the terms? Yes. Okay. Chalice! Oh, and she knows what death feels like and she still did it. Maybe it's not that bad. She is brave. I love Chalice so much. She's one of my favorite characters in animation this year. I want to throw that out there. Ooh. I love, love, love her. I guess we'll never really know. Huh. We're going to settle this once and The devil's like, I can't kill you thinking that you're the best dancer of all time. You need to know that you're second. To determine which of us is the greatest dancer of all time. Ha! Dance off! Done. The show was built for three seasons. There's never been any kind of an inclination that it could go farther, so that's why I think it's good. Do they want a fourth season? Yes, and I think that's where I can see there being a fourth season. But, like, Netflix ordered three seasons. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but, like, you kind of want to write it if it's going to keep going on. If it's this show, why not? Okay, this is awesome, by the way. The this Chernabog, is, I was like, going to say Fantasia, Night of Bald Mountain. Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah, this is so, so Fantasia. And the music, too. I think this might be my favorite episode, actually, so far. Just because this know. has been so sick with the imagery. Oh, see, we're bringing all the characters back in for one last epic moment of the Devil and Chalice. The best characters in the show. Oh, shoot. Come on in, King Dice! I think I'm gonna oh. lose. I think I'm gonna lose this bet, and I'm gonna... Oh no, why did I do this? Folks, prepare yourselves. Oh god, I can't fix it in editing either. I have to actually do it. That's music! <laughs> oh, the booty though! Okay. You know, I mean, come on, like, the devil's gotta win, right? Okay, okay, guys, I know that this show is written, right? But we know that you guys know who actually wins this fight. You, the audience, we, I know you know who wins this fight. So you have to decide now for us. Leave it in the comments. I'm going to count it. Might even do a poll. Maybe. But probably not. So just leave it in the comments. All the drums! Give it to me! 
I'm also ready for the last hot sauce. Oh, Give me this chicken. Let's this do is it. the last one for Cuphead. Okay. The collector. The devil's hot sauce. Oh. I gotta keep it together for the bomb, especially if I have to take another one. Oh my god, this dancing is hot right now! Oh my gosh, look at- Oh, Dude. that's me! That's me! Alright, this, there. This imagery is everything. Ooh, the hottest hot sauce for the hottest episode in the hottest place! Ooh. That's our show, by the way, if you were wondering, the hottest place. Dude, this is everything that I've been begging from Cuphead from the very beginning, and they've given me it in spurts. We are getting an entire segment of music and dancing. Everything. Like, we even got teased with it in this episode, but this is the full thing. I will rewatch this segment again and again. And we're... And we're getting all of our, uh... <laughs> characters together in one place, which is really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, she slipped herself up! No! Oh my gosh, dude. Just like that, it's over? Marbles? There must be. Oh, please give me. Give me a cliffhanger. Please give me a cliffhanger. Nope. There's too much time left. Not again! Oh my god, wait, is Cuphead going in? Oh man. Interesting, a proposition. I was kind of hoping he would just take it and die. Her debt is cleared. But if I lose, you can turn her to dust. And... You can have my soul. Oh. And mugmans. <laughs> what? You have a deal. What's the uh. game though? No, no, don't do no, the devil, don't do it. You're gonna make me have to eat the bomb. Or more of it. Alright, what's your game? Rock, paper, scissors. What? That's a game that requires no skill. Not false. true. So false. Rock, paper, scissors definitely requires skill. Watch. Alec, let's play rock, paper, scissors. You're gonna choose paper. Alright. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You knew- wait, I won. <laughs> a professional rock, paper, scissors player, and they do exist, could school most of us. Yeah, there's a whole, like, psychology of playing. Actually, it's in the- uh, it's, if you guys like anime, it's in Hunter x Hunter. I really hope the devil wins. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I'd be really disappointed if he didn't, I'm not gonna lie. As like, a f <laughs> like, not even because of the hot sauce. Like, just because it'd be an e- Like, doesn't it feel like that'd be the easy way to close everything? As a fan, I will say, even though I don't want to take the bomb, I kind of wouldn't mind a cliffhanger because I do- I would love to see more Cuphead. I think it's good for this show to exist in this generation, to be such a slap, sticky, pure joy cartoon of a show for this new generation. I guess, like, technically everything's wrapped up with every character at the end of this. I just feel like the devil never got the moment. I don't know. I guess the devil is is supposed what to What if win. he wins? Nah, there's no way. Oh, okay. Scissors. In. So, in a way, Rock, Paper, Scissors feels like the exact way to end it. <laughs> I still want oh. Just like we were talking about earlier with the flow state. Enough! Just one more! It's over! Oh. Pleasure doing business with you. He looks sad. I'm sad! Oh, come on! Boss. Where you that was everything. Come on! Everything it's been building up to, we just lost. Here, wanna hold your pitchfork? That always cheers you up. To a rock, paper, scissors <laughs> game, got awry. Please tell me I'm not gonna have to guzzle down to bomb after, after this. <laughs> It don't worry, it's not gonna end like this completely. Come on, boss. No, no, turn around, wait. I'm more worried about a cliffhanger right now. Sure. Thank you. This isn't a cliffhanger? Wait, oh my god, what if Alec it and sure I don't is. agree on it being a cliffhanger? I didn't even consider this possibility. I'm now very worried. You I've... think this is a cliffhanger? Not no, not yet. If it ended now, would you think it's a cliffhanger? Not this, but I think there will be one. Good riddance, I say. <sighs> 
grand opening, the Devil's Casino. Oh. Oh, are we just gonna start it from the? Oh my God, it's where the game took place. Where the game starts. It's where the game ends. No way, we're going there. That's oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's the final level. <laughs> I did not learn my lesson. Oh no. Oh no, is this? I think that is oh. actually a cliffhanger. Okay. This is very interesting. Okay. Okay. I, I know hope. that you guys are going to let us know in the comments, and I appreciate it ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and say that was a cliffhanger, only because it was showing the last level of the game, which implies yeah. another season for finality. I feel like so... the devil has more. Oh, it's funny. It's recommending Sonic Prime while we let this play. <laughs> We've been thinking about it. Don't, don't flood our comments, please. Yeah. I'd rather you talk about Cuphead. That could be a cliffhanger if they wanted it to be. <sighs> or it could have totally not been. I'm having some anyway, so I'm gonna prepare. No, 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 listen. I, I, I believe that I lost the bet. I wish that it was more clear cut. Good God, that looks terrible. Don't put on too much for real. Be very careful. This stuff is, again, not Cuphead hot sauce. You can't buy it with the other ones. My heart is literally pounding right now. I'm not, I'm sweating from nervousness, not even from hot sauce. I think that's a reasonable amount. Do you think so? Mine's more than you did. Well, I know that. You've had it before. Yeah. And I don't like hot sauce. Well, I don't like dying. I really hope that everybody sticks to through our last conversation about the show, because I think this is going to be interesting. It'll be the most entertaining. Mm-mm. <sighs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, you stop! Just kidding. Oh. That was a mistake. Holy shit. Oh! Okay. Try to talk about the finale. I've heard before a uh, podcast that I like talks about something being a plot show or a vibe show. And I think this Cuphead is a vibe, is a vibe show. show. And that's good, though, sometimes, right? Normally, for reactions, I think vibe shows are not where it's at. Plot shows are a little better. <laughs> I think that this has the problem of, like... Please talk, talk, because it's easier when you talk. I'm trying ah! to... I, have you had water yet? No. I'm having water, dude. No way. The thing that this show does the best for me, it makes me laugh, it gets me invested <laughs> in the charm of the characters, and it gets me stoked about animation style and i think it's getting a newer generation of people invested in older animation and how animation is being done and that's what the thing that i think that is the best about this show it's how so 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 good in all of those ways that in a way i almost wish it wasn't even trying to have a plot because it's yeah. distracting but i get why they're doing it because it's keeping people invested and it's keeping us invested it's keeping you and i watching it as, right. as you know a, a review channel that's also trying to cover the show I think the second season was the funniest season, but this really? was the best season. Just because of like animation style and like getting characters getting flushed out, plot getting yeah. finished even though, you know, like... I'm real trying my best here, everybody. It really just hit, keeps hitting. Woo! You think you're through it. I was like, whoo, another one. Rah. Hey, everybody, we're really suffering. Uh, we're, I lost a bet. I'm really glad you lost. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate you all staying on this, on this journey with us. We love the show. It's been great. Uh, if you're watching this in the live... Uh, Ah, the burp hurt more! Oh, God! If you're watching this in a tunnel with a lot of snakes and unicorns... What? Maybe frogs and unicorns. <laughs> then that's especially awesome because we happen to be in those onesies for our finale because we always wear onesie finales. So I think that's very serendipitous that you happen to be in a tunnel with frogs and unicorns right now. I don't know what you mean. What is this joke? You were about to say, if you're watching this from, so I just thought I'd guess where you, what you were about oh to say. Oh my god, like and subscribe, support the channel. Ah! <laughs>